The other day I was talking to a good friend and he was planning to sell his own services. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the insider tips I gave him that will help him sell more services, make more money and make his dream a reality. This is gonna be applicable no matter if you're selling a product or service, right? Whether it's a software, you maybe you're a coach or a consultant selling some type of service, the fundamentals of sales is going to be the same and these are gonna be the fundamental building blocks when it comes to any business, really. Now, the first thing that I told my friend is this. You want to sell the best possible product or service. So in my friend's situation, he was basically selling a service specifically for helping people lose weight with his training programs, right? If you have an amazing product, right? Whether, whatever the result is, if you can guarantee that result, that's gonna allow you to sell so much better. You see the thing with sales, especially if you're watching this, is you guys want to become better salespeople so that you can make more money. But the reality is that a lot of time, the amount of money you actually make is determined on how good your product is. Now, if you are the entrepreneur or if you're the freelancer or if you're the coach or the consultant you can create your services out of thin air right it's just your offer so you want to make sure that whatever it is that you're offering is the highest of value like can you actually guarantee a result and that if you achieve that result people will pay money for it? if that's the case then you can charge a lot of money because if you can guarantee for example that you're going to help someone lose 50 pounds guaranteed or your money back if you're charging a really high price and it's a guarantee then the chances are that they are going to pay so it's all the things that you can do to transfer your belief you know do you believe that you can help them out and do they believe that you can actually do the job and that's really what sales is all about so sell the best possible product or service possible and if your product or service is not good especially if you are the entrepreneur make your product and service good right really try hard on making the thing you're selling as good as possible and selling will become so much easier because you can take the worst salesperson selling the best product that guy's going to make more money than you getting the best person selling the worst product because if the product is bad nobody should be buying it so what makes a product good is a couple things right number one is the final results are you saving people time helping them make more money saving them money for example right if you're like a tax accountant so it depends on your industry but it's all about the results from there it's like how fast can you get the result how confident is the buyer in you when it comes to that trustworthiness that guarantee and then how much effort is actually involved in that person getting the results right so if somebody took a diet pill for example and they're gonna lose weight that way and it's guaranteed of course they're gonna do the diet pill but if they had to go to the gym every single day and really get through that pain and suffering and they have to change your diet it's a lot of effort that's why a lot of people opt for like light pole suction for example right so it's all about understanding these elements and making it as easy and frictionless as possible for your client and by the way if you are someone that is trying to get into sales whether it's getting into tech sales you want to sell your own products and services you definitely want to check out my master class at saleslegacy.com where we're going to teach you everything you need to know about sales whether it's from selling negotiating pitching cold calling cold emailing generating those leads so you have someone to sell to this course covers it all and best of all we actually have a free training on saleslegacy.com for you to get a taste of what this is all about so if you're serious about taking your sales to the next level make sure to check out sales legacy now the next tip i have for you is that you want to leverage the power of word of mouth which is referral marketing so the ideal situation is this your product or service or whatever it is that you're selling is just so good that that person who purchased it had such a great experience they have to tell a friend now for me personally in my whole web3 side which is like emerging technologies and ip which i do some advising and consulting work over there so a lot of companies come to me and i basically help them sell their products products, right? For me, for that particular side of the business, I actually don't do any marketing. There's no ads. It's really just word of mouth. My service is really good. People really like working with me. When somebody else has a similar problem as my ideal customer, if they hear about me, they want to talk to me. They want to say, hey, Patrick, can you help me do what you did for them, right? Which is to sell their products. People talk, rumors spread, people say good things behind my back, and then clients will come to me. They reach out to me on Twitter or whatever the case is, and then they want to work with me, right? And for my friend, I told him, I'm like, look, if your job is to help people lose weight, just get amazing results so that, you know, your ideal target demographic, everyone's spreading the rumor like, hey, this guy's amazing. He's killing it. If you want to lose weight and you're serious about it, this is the guy to go to, right? So you want to be that guy in your particular niche, whether it's geographically or if it's online, you're competing against the world, but whatever it is, you want to be the best of the best at what you do and you want your customers to do the selling for you. That leads us to our next point, which is the importance of honesty and reputation. You know, what's really interesting is that in the whole crypto, Web3, NFT kind of world, which is I'm pretty deep in there, 
The reality is that most people are kind of grifters and scammers and they're not very honest, right? There's so many grifters in this industry that if you're an honest person and actually tells the truth, you're seen as an anomaly, right? Telling the truth in industries where people are just liars will make you stand out. And of course, it's harder to sell by telling the truth, right? Because you're not over promising anything. But if you're able to deliver on an amazing result, it's going to help you so much more in the long term. And especially in the fitness industry, there are a lot of people who like take steroids and claim they're natural. They do all these weird stuff to like try to make it look like they're qualified to train you, but really they're not because real recognizes real. So you just need the right people to know who you are. Now that leads us to our next point, which is that you actually don't need to be famous in order to make money. Now people think that you need a million followers in order to make a million dollars or whatever the case is, right? The truth is you don't. In fact, you only really need to be famous famous within your particular industry, depending on what you're selling, right? So if you're selling B2B services, client services, you only need a few customers a year to make it work out. You don't need all these followers unless you're selling like a consumer product, like chocolate bars, for example, right? But if you're in the business of like B2B sales and you're working with high-end clients who are spending thousands of dollars with you, you don't need to be super famous. You just need to be famous enough so the right people know who you are. For example, if you are in the startup niche, right? Maybe you only need like a following of 10,000 people it just so happens that five startup founders who are VC funded per year want to reach out to you and work with you, that is enough for you to have your plate full for an entire year, right? And that leads us to our next points, which is you want high quality clients. The biggest mistake I see, especially new entrepreneurs make is that they're just after the money. But the thing they don't think about is that you want to think about who is the type of person you want to work with, right? So for me in the whole like technology consulting and sales side, I want to work with ambitious startup founders, ideally somebody that already has some kind of track record. They have funds, whether it's VC funds or themselves. So the money is never really an issue and it's very easy to work with and they already have a team. So when I give them advice and I help them sell and do consulting, they can implement the strategies that I give them right away and we're not wasting time. The higher quality the client, usually the more they, they will charge, the more money they make because they're more competent and the more money that you can get paid. If you have a lot of low level clients, people that don't have money who are not willing to put in the work, it's a bit more of a headache. You can have more of them, right? I mean, it all depends on how much your product costs, but it definitely is more of a headache. So I personally opt for being more boutique, more of the high end side where a few clients are paying me a lot versus having a lot of clients paying me a little. Now there is risk to that, meaning that if one client disappears, it does take a hit in terms of your revenue. But for me, I'm willing to take that risk and other people are not. So that's why they want to diversify more. Just depends on what type of business you're trying to run. But if you're more boutique and you're kind of doing everything yourself as a solo entrepreneur or a small team, working with the highest quality clients that pay you and don't have an issue of price is going to be the best. And so with that said, that is everything we got to cover for this video and I will see you in the next one.